facing out painted white so we'll have to uh, get busy with that too we'll see you when we're doing that so we put the wood on the bus walls and we countersinked it and uh, they're not it's not a flat wall just kind of curved uh, we countersink the little drill bit that does suck like that and then we put the screws in so we can cover the screws up and uh, they're, they're all going into the uh, metal and the wood. Bring them up here to show this. We want it to end flush with that so we can have this emergency window, but he doesn't really care about the emergency windows. He's more about getting light only where he wants it. In that area, he doesn't want light or the heat from the outside. So if you notice, this was a straight piece of plywood. You might move over there and take a look at it. Now it's kind of bowed. See, it's bowed. So we had to push that in, work our way up from the, to the bottom to the top. Curves it up. So we have one piece left. 
and uh, it has the same issues that others have had, and that is there's a uh, emergency handle that we'll have to hammer in, uh, but all the plywood is painted so that even though it's tinted windows, it'll be kind of white underneath. He really doesn't care a lot about the outside because he's going to wrap the bus, which hopefully uh, we'll be involved with that uh, to see. It. I'll show you the end result at some point. But uh, he wanted to do what he can do, and I understand that. So we're going to fasten <coughs> this last piece, which will probably be the hardest one. <laughs> So, Pull too far, you know, break the screw or uh, pull sure. it in further, strip it out. That was too far. Yeah. Okay. Somehow this is not as flat as I would like it. No, that's because of the handle. Yeah, I know. I just gotta. I get rid of the hammer. So I don't want to make dents in the finished material. Don't want to break the window either. not a stretcher but that's the way we've been doing it it's been a true journey we're gonna caulk all the holes and the cracks and then when he wants to paint the whole thing we're hoping to get to that one of the things that we got all wrapped up in is he wanted this sink that he put in to have a cover over it so amongst hooking up everything, we also uh, built this cover, um, and uh, that's quite a journey. So if you'll see, we 45 all this without a, a table saw, and uh, it's pretty close. So he was happy with it. I wasn't. I'd like it to be a little fancier, but it costs more money, so that's not what he wants to do won't make the price of his haircuts any different so uh, it's was quite a he want he this chair is going to be over closer so he's worried about their feet sitting on this 
uh, footstool and hitting it so it couldn't be straight down it had to be at an angle so that's what we did so we hooked up the water we're close to hooking up the drain um, and then this cover that goes on this a little bit of adjustment on the on the cuts and uh, he will be able to take screws and pull the cover off to work on it if he wants to because this thing will be bouncing down the road things will probably come loose that's why I like using screws so don't have a tendency to do that so much but uh, we'll show you what the results are as we go along and uh, there you go Well, we're 21, 22 hours in. We got three coats of paint on the plywood and the ceiling and the skylights. We've trimmed out the wood along here with some plastic from Home Depot, all on a budget. Uh, built a little wall in front of that fridge. Built two cabinets out of the scrap wood real quick, about 30 minutes. And put that in the back. Put a switch in for the dome lights. We still got a little bit of wiring to do. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, we built this cabinet, which you've already seen. Um, got into some discussions about solar, and we changed the GFI outlet on that air conditioner. Uh, so I guess next he wants me to uh, study up like he is on solar. Uh, so we'll probably go to a 24 volt system and we'll have to get uh, an inverter and, uh, and five or six batteries probably. Uh, though he's worried about the price of the batteries. Right now he can function. He also wants to, instead of $3,000, $4,000 to paint this thing, which not many people can because it's so tall and so long, uh, they don't have a shop big enough. Uh, he wants me to work with him. We may just go ahead and spray this out in the field because he doesn't care. He's going to put a fancy wrap on it anyway. A lot of it's going to be covered with the wrap. Then uh, he'll roll and... Uh, We'll probably put in the solar uh, as he gets the money, which he, I think he has the money, but he just is trying to be cautious. 
uh, what he's going to do is probably uh, people will call him, he'll pull up, provide that service, make I don't know, $100, whatever, but maybe go to colleges. And whatever day he's at that college, then he does another day at another college. And he'll have full days. After a while, he'll have a schedule built and just people walk up, wait in line, sit in the cat. The, he's got the ability to hold five people with a couple of chairs. He can hold seven, eight and uh, sell sodas, so on, and uh, make his money at college campuses. So uh, it's come a long ways, and we'll see how much we're involved. I know we'll be involved more uh, as as we go along. His name is Phil also, except his name is Sir Phil. Now try that. That's on his birth certificate, Sir Phil. So I'm just Phil. He's Sir Phil. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he's a cool dude to be around. Uh, not saying I, I don't, you know, I'm not claiming to be his best friend, but we're long time friends. So he and I get along good. So, hand it around, take a look. If you uh, watched the first video, you'll see how far this thing has come along. And, uh, on a budget. I think he's buying the bus, putting everything in the bus. He's Both of us think he's going to be before, below $10,000 or right at $10,000. Uh, with the tanks underneath, the generator, it's a lot. Uh, for $10,000, he's on a budget. Could be a lot more uh, if he had somebody else doing it. If he didn't do so much himself, if he didn't shop, it would be $30,000, $40,000. Easily. It might not look as good as this. That's what the solar guy said that came by. I was surprised at how good it looked. So, this is what you guys can do the same as he's doing it. Uh, keep in mind that you could make it the way you want it. Maybe more windows or something. But you can do what you want to do. And I suggest you find what you want. And now there's a lot of YouTube videos on uh, online so that you can look at schoolies with S-K-O-O-L-I-E and see all different kinds. You may not see this one. This is a mobile barbershop, and I've not seen one like it. So everybody's unique. See you next time.